Hello, I'm Professor Floyd J. Winters, and today we're going to link a cascading style sheet to a web page. We're going to use Expression Web to do this. You could also use Dreamweaver. I'm going to click File, New Page, and go to Cascading Style Layout. I'm going to pick a header, a navigation, and a left column, and a footer, and say OK. And notice that Expression Web creates our page, our for us, it starts with the cascading style sheet untitled and the web page. And if we look at the design, there's nothing there right now. But let's watch and see how the cascading style sheet can affect the page itself. I'm going to start by giving a width of 600 to my page. And if I give it a margin that's auto, it will center my web page. This is kind of important. For the masthead, I'm going to see the background color is. Let's go blue. And the text color will be white. For the top navigation, I would like to have a border on the top navigation. And I'd like to be that three pixels and make it blue and make it solid. For my left column, I think I'll make that with a background color of yellow. And the text color, let's make that blue. And let's see what we have so far. Let's look at my page. We can see my mask had already started. Let's take a look at the code. No change in the code. Let's go and put some text in this code. For my title, I'll do an H1 and say my title. And you can kind of see a title right there. We'll see some of my navigation. And let's go to my navigation and type in home and resume. Contact, and we'll start putting a little bit of a navigation here. It'd be nice to center those. So what I'm going to do is come back in here and go to my masthead and go text align, center. And while I'm at it, same thing here for my top nav. Go back to my page, and there's center. Let's put some content in here. And there's my content. Let's put something in my left column. And there's my left column content. So we've got a page that's starting to look like a web page so far. Let's try these hyperlinks. I'm going to click on Home, Insert Hyperlink, and type in Index. HTM, say OK, and go to my resume, insert, hyperlink, and type in resume there, and my contact page, and say OK. Now, I'd like when I hover over these to have these changed colors. So we'll put a little effect in here. I'm going to grab this top nav ID, and paste it in here, and add what's called a pseudo element to the anchor. I want to say when we hover, let's do something. I would like to make that color, let's pick a color, make it fuchsia. And I'll close this. Let's see what happens when I run this. Let me save this. I'll just call this demo htm for right now. And hit save. And I'll call this demo CSS for right now. And hit save. And as I hover over home and resume, notice how they change color. Let's take a look at how all this gets done. So what we have here, 
uh, cascading style sheet are the definitions for each of the existing tag selectors that typically come up front and we're setting our width and our margin. For our IDs, we're setting up the background color and the color, and so on and so forth. In my code itself, there is a link that Expression Web put in for me automatically, but I could have put in Ford itself saying link to the href for my demo.css right here. The relationship is a style sheet. The type is text and pure CSS. Here's my first div, my second div. It gets to be confusing for a while, so what I'll do is because I can't see where one starts and one ends, I'll do something like this. I'll put a comment in here and say, in this is content. That way I can tell where each of these start and where each of these end. And it just makes it a little bit easier to understand as far as what you have. So this is my basic structure linked to my cascading style sheet, setting my divs up, and it's pretty cool.